already seeing reaction here, Reg, you know, that uh, Westbrook proving he's not the MVP based on last night. I'm saying, oh, my gosh, I hope that we don't cap, you know, carp, uh, compartmentalize this and say all of a sudden whoever plays well or whoever advances is the MVP. But what do you take away from last night's game between these two? Well, certainly James Harden has more weapons surrounding him, uh, better shooters, and a a better fit for players under uh, head coach Mike D'Antoni's system. Um, both are phenomenal. And for all the people, as you alluded to, that are hating on Russell Westbrook, number one, the votes are already in. Um, it would be nice to actually uh, have a chance to watch players throughout the playoffs and then do the voting, especially now this is the first year that we're actually going to have an award show. Uh, I believe it's uh, June 26th. So actually you could watch all the playoffs and then actually do your voting um, for the MVP. I would love to um, kind of, you know, watch players during the playoffs when it's money time, when it means the most, but the votes are already in. Um, so it doesn't really matter what happens between uh, Russ and James and the Thunder and the Rockets uh, because the votes are already in. But I'm watching Houston's team. I don't know if they're that much more talented than Oklahoma City. It's just they are better suited for the system that Mike D'Antoni has, whereas Oklahoma City loses Kevin Durant in a system that they had built for years so it feels like they, they don't have the system that Houston – Houston has a team system. Oklahoma City has a Russell Westbrook system. Well, look, right now and really all season long, uh, the Thunder have been a one-man band, and they've been that walking triple-double in Russell Westbrook. Um, he needs shooting. And, you know, Victor Oladipo was one of 12 last night. To me, you know, for them to win this series and be successful in this series – um, Westbrook was going to need a wingman. He was going to need another guy who can create offense um, on his own and who can make timely shots. To me, Victor Oladipo has to be that guy. They don't have the shooting of a, a Ryan Anderson or a Lou Williams, Eric Gordon, Trevor Ariza. Uh, Patrick Beverly last night was the X factor mm -hmm. for the Rockets, and he played it at both ends. He had to guard Russell Westbrook, and he you know, had a career playoff high in 21 points. Um, and you look at the, the Thunder roster, uh, if, if Andre Robertson's going to be your second leading scorer, a guy that's known for his defense, then you're going to have problems night in and night out because uh, Mike D'Antoni says we're going to treat him like Vegas in the house money. If he makes shots, we're just going to shake his hand and lose. He had a, a great game, but he can't be your second leading scorer. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.